Hey everyone, I'm Jensen. Election night is upon us, so what happens next? Once the polls are closed, what's happening behind the scenes? Well, wonder no more. I have all the info you need to know to get in the loop. So just because votes are in it doesn't mean the election is over. Elections officials still have to complete their post-election duties and the results have to be certified. And these processes are all governed by the states. So there are a total of 51 models out there, including Washington, D.C., you know, to keep things spicy. But here's the general order of events. First, they have to count the ballots, and this can happen at a polling place or a central location. And I want to make myself abundantly clear. Election night results are not official results, and they never have been. What generally happens is we report the unofficial results as they become available, and things are locked in until much later. Once regular ballots are counted, provisional ballots are processed. A provisional ballot is cast in person when there is doubt about the voter's identity or their eligibility to vote, and it's only counted once that information is later verified. So here are some examples of when you may need to use a provisional ballot. Your name doesn't appear on the official poll list for that precinct. You are unable to provide or don't have the required proof of identity, which, as a reminder, includes an Ohio driver's license or state identification card, military ID, or a current utility bill, bank statement, government check, paycheck, or other government document that shows your name and current address. Or maybe your name appears on the official poll list as already having requested an absentee ballot, or a variety of other reasons. But then once the provisional ballots are done and processed, the election is Canvas, which just means the results are prepared and reported by local officials for the state, and then the state does its own canvas. In Ohio, that deadline for 2020 is November 18th, and once canvassing is complete, a separate statewide entity certifies those results. And that certification is what gives the authority for a newly elected office holder to be sworn in. And in Ohio, that needs to be done by November 28th, so 10 days after this year's canvassing is complete. Once the Secretary of State does certify the election, if a candidate wants to request a recount, they have to do so by December 3rd. And a recount is automatically triggered if the margin between votes is a quarter of a percent or closer. The recount would need to be done by December 8th, six days before the Electoral College meets, which is set for December 14th. And then on January 6th, Congress will count the electoral votes and declare the result. But what if the election is contested? Candidates can contest the election, which just means they're challenging the results on a legal basis. For this to happen in Ohio, the challenge must be filed within 15 days of the results being officially announced, or if there was a recount 10 days after those results are officially announced. The hearing would then have to occur between 15 to 30 days after the petition is filed, with the court adjourning no more than 30 days after that. Now I just threw a lot of dates at you, so let's do a quick recap with some visuals here. State canvassing needs to be done by November 18th, with certification on November 28th. A candidate must request a recount by December 3rd, with that recount completed by December 8th. If a candidate contests the results, they need to say something 15 days after results are announced. The hearing has to take place no more than 30 days after the petition is filed and adjourned no more than 30 days after that. The Electoral College meets December 14th and Congress meets January 6th to count those votes and announce the results. Now we will keep you updated every step of the way. If you have questions, text us at 419-248-1100. We will do our best to get you verified information. And tomorrow night on election night, make sure you tune in here on our YouTube channel. I'll be giving you live updates throughout the night. So if you're not subscribed already, make sure you do that so you get an alert to your phone whenever I pop on here with new information. But with all of that being said, I'm Jensen and now you're in the loop.